Financial planning for beginners. It's just two weeks after payday, and you're left with barely enough money to get by for the rest of the month. And that, my friend, is not something good. You may have exceeded your spending limit, and this problem must be handled well. For this, you need financial planning. It will not only help you balance your spending, but also ensure that you have enough money in an emergency. So, let me help you, beginners, with some fantastic tips for best outcomes. Make sure you stay till the end of the video so that you'll get a complete idea about financial planning. Number 10. Keep a personal balance sheet. A personal balance sheet is a statement in which you can list your assets and liabilities, which will then help you understand what you own and what you owe. It's a very effective tool for taking your finances to the next level. Your net worth is determined by the difference between your assets and liabilities. So, gather your bank statements and other proof of liabilities before you begin. Then, make a list of your assets, such as your bank balance, investments, home value, and the value of other assets. Add up all of your assets to get the total value of your assets. List your liabilities, such as your car loan, home loan, credit card balances, and remaining balances on other loans. The total of your liabilities will reveal the amount you owe. Ideally, your net worth should be positive, which means that the money you own exceeds the money you owe. Don't give up if the news is terrible. As you repay your loans, your net worth will gradually increase. Number 9. Think about saving money. It's critical to keep track of how much you spend to devise a saving strategy. So, you might even be avoiding buying a can of soda to save 5 bucks. But spending wisely is a component of being financially responsible. But what if making the most of your money meant putting your happiness ahead of buying things you'll use? Even if it's avocado toast. This idea of avocado toast is a well-known trending concept that simply shows how saving on small things can help you buy a house. Financial planners have taken notice of millennial spending habits on expensive coffee and other items. It's critical not only to save money, but also help it grow. You can begin investing now that you're starting a career. Investing allows you to gain more in a shorter period. To begin, you can choose low-risk options. Number 8. Make use of multiple bank accounts. Having only one bank account can make budgeting and planning difficult. Keep your budget to no more than five categories and set up separate checking accounts for each. This way, you can easily see how much money is left in your budget without having to do the math each time. It will save time and make it easier for you to take decisions. Number 7. Make an emergency fund. Emergencies such as hospital bills and job losses can strain our finances. Setting aside a specific amount of your income for emergencies will come in handy when something unexpected occurs. You can invest your money as an emergency fund, but you should be able to withdraw it if necessary. Here are three steps to setting up an emergency fund. Determine the amount. To save money, open a separate bank account. Decide how much you want to invest each month and start investing. Investing in liquid mutual funds is another excellent way to build an emergency fund. It's a better option than saving money in a bank. Here are some reasons. There is no lock-in period for liquid mutual funds. There's no load at the entry or exit. Redemption in an instant. Low risk. Higher interest than a bank savings account. Number 6. Spend your money wisely. If you're living paycheck to paycheck and finding yourself in debt before the end of the month, you're probably living above your means. Perhaps there are a lot of unexpected expenses. These may leave you with insufficient funds to meet your basic needs. But there is an escape route. Try making a budget. You won't be able to control your cash flow unless you have a budget. A budget simply shows how much money is coming in and how it's spent. Begin by classifying your expenses as fixed and variable, urgent and non-urgent, necessities and luxuries, and avoidable and unavoidable. In this manner, you will have a complete inventory of expenses in front of you. The more you convert things from abstract to physical, the easier it is to grasp them. You can list needs and prioritize which ones to address first. You must accept that you have limited resources and unlimited desires. The sooner you accept this fact, the better you will be able to control your impulses toward unnecessary spending. 
After covering all necessary expenses, you can set aside some funds for entertainment and leisure. You can avoid overspending by making a grocery list before going to the supermarket. You can also designate a weekly no-spend day. Number 5. Debt should be managed wisely. A lack of debt management may eat up a large portion of your income. You may have to take out new loans to pay off old ones. If it spirals out of control, you may find yourself in a vicious debt cycle. Your most important life goals may be put on hold, and your retirement may be postponed. Planning your debt repayment may keep you out of trouble. All you need to know is how much money you owe to whom. Make a plan for paying them off. If you have a lot of debt to pay off, start with the most expensive one first. Credit cards are likely the most expensive type of debt. Pay off your credit card balances in full as soon as your salary is credited each month. Make it a point to only use your credit card in an emergency. Debt should only be used as a last resort. Make down payments on your purchases as soon as possible. If you have large ticket loans, look into balance transfer options. You can transfer your loan to another bank that offers a lower interest rate. This method allows you to save significant money that would otherwise be spent on interest. Number 4. Retirement Planning Everyone should plan for their retirement. Because of your sedentary lifestyle, you are more susceptible to diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, and heart attacks. Healthcare costs continue to rise year after year. You must have the funds to cover these costs without a social security net. You, like many others, may believe that it's too early to begin planning. At this rate, you start retirement planning late and accumulate less than you could if you started earlier. The magic of compounding is responsible for this. It allows you to retire early and live a stress-free life. When planning for retirement, you should clarify a few points, such as the age at which you want to retire. Estimate how much money you will need each month to cover your post-retirement expenses. Number 3. Setting up your estate Whether you believe it or not, every one of us has a will. Every asset, whether it's your car or your house, or the money in your savings and checking accounts, constitutes an estate. It's up to you to decide what happens to these when the time comes. You must ensure that the correct asset is assigned to the correct individual correctly. Finally, you should consider estate planning. People frequently believe that estate planning is only for the wealthy. The reality, however, is it's quite the opposite. It applies to anyone who cannot afford to leave his assets in the hands of the unwanted after he's gone. Number 2. Make sure your risks are covered. Human life and property are both at risk. These risks can result in income loss, putting you and your dependents in financial jeopardy. Insurance, like investing for wealth accumulation, ensures wealth preservation. Purchasing an insurance plan is only the beginning. You end up paying more and being underinsured. Instead, a term insurance policy would be a better investment. Expect no returns on your life insurance policy. The sum assured should ideally be at least 10 times your annual income. Before purchasing life insurance, you can compare policies online to find one that meets your needs at an affordable price. Aside from life insurance, you may also require health insurance. It will give you access to high-quality health care at a reasonable cost. Don't end up paying more for less. Number 1. Make your investment portfolio Creating your first investment portfolio is an accomplishment in and of itself. After all, it's your first step toward accumulating wealth. Building a portfolio entails dividing your investment into asset classes, such as equity, debt, and cash. Although equity is the best tax-efficient and inflation-fighting vehicle, putting all your money in equity is not a wise investment strategy. You must diversify the funds allocated to each asset class by your investment objectives. It is always better to be a long-term investor to build a larger quantity. Your investment horizon should be between 10 and 15 years. Once you've built a portfolio, you'll need to rebalance it regularly to keep the portfolio's risk within expected limits due to market fluctuations. You can do it every six months or once a year. So those are my financial planning tips for beginners. It would be great if you all can share what I've missed in the comments. Thank you for watching.